it's another morning. Another one has come around the corner. Look, there comes the sun. It's gonna come up over there. Just like usual, unless it wants to surprise us and come up over there. Ho oh, ho ho, wouldn't that throw everyone off? That'd be the surprise of the century. So we got uh, some trucking to do today. I don't know what truck I'll be in because my truck is in the shop for today and tomorrow at least. Who knows? Uh, you know how it goes, it might stretch out to the rest of this week. But for the next two days at least, my truck's gonna be in the shop. So I gotta show up there and wait for a substitute. Or to be assigned a substitute. So I got all my stuff in the truck here that I need. Didn't leave anything in that truck, just in case. Not worried about, about it being stolen, I'm saying just in case if I need it. Realize how that sounded after it came out. <laughs> all right, let's get over there. Let's get trucking. Usually I'd be going through the gate and going around to get in my truck right now. However, my truck is in there. Getting pampered, I guess. We've come up with a title for her. I don't know if it's a name, but a title. We call her the Mistress. Britt and I were talking about it last night, and we went through all of the, the options that you guys gave us. Thank you for all your comments yesterday. There was dozens and dozens and dozens, probably over 100, of different names that we could call the truck. All of them were really good. But Mistress stuck out. <laughs> but she doesn't actually ever reveal her name. She's a little bit mysterious. So we don't know what her real name is, but she's the mistress. Maybe. <laughs> maybe once I get her all shined up, uh, maybe Keystone will let me get a little uh, little decal or a decal for the door or for the hood or something that says the mistress. Anyway, I've got to go in here and uh, talk to people and figure out what truck I'm in today. I have a substitute mistress today. So I've got to go into the office here and uh, figure out what truck they want to put me in for the next couple of days. They said two days, but you know how that goes. Two days, you can usually... <laughs> These guys here are really good, I should say that. Two days, it'll probably be two days. But I'm just saying it might stretch into three, and I wouldn't be upset. As long as they get everything done. I don't know what they're all doing, but they showed me the list of all the stuff that needs to be done to the truck, and it was like a page long with itty-bitty letters and a little writing. <laughs> I know she's old, but wow. I'm glad they're uh, glad they're taking care of her. They take care of their trucks here. So I don't know if you follow me on Facebook or not, uh, but uh, I, I did talk on Facebook this morning, so that would have been yesterday morning for you, that we have a special need right now for new owner-operators, like 10 to 15 new owner-operators at this moment. Uh, the needs change from day to day. I try to stay on top of that, but you want to get a hold of Max here at Keystone uh, on their website, keystonewestern.com, if you're looking for... Uh, a change or if you're looking for new work they, all they ask is the ability the legal ability to work in Canada and uh, the ability to cross into the US so you can either have Canadian citizenship a work visa as long as you can cross into the US two years experience including driving in snow uh, we got a lot of snow so I can go check that out you gotta have a good work ethic and a good attitude all right you gotta wake up in the morning and say today's gonna be a good day all right, looks like we'll be in 2025, which is the original truck that I showed you that I was going to be driving. It's got the black hood, the black fenders. A little bit of an older interior than the one I'm in, but that's okay. <laughs> I love that we got curtain side trailers now. That's gotta make things so much easier. Okay, so I'm guessing 2025 is probably around the back, where mine usually is as well. Off we go to our muddy back corner. I'm not going to park in the mud today, though. My truck is all full of mud now, and you know how long it's going to take me to clean that off? <laughs> okay, so uh, uh, some of you want to see this blue truck up close. Uh, one of these days, yes, absolutely, I'll give you the tour and I'll show you what that boom on the back can do. I was going to show you today, but things changed and we're not going to be using it now, but eh, maybe they'll change their mind. This was, uh, I wasn't going to be driving this one, but I believe they were going to be using it and I was going to be there on the site and I was going to be on flatbed and they were going to be unloading me with that, but plans changed. 
That is a really cool unit. I'm looking forward to showing you guys that. Another day. Oh wait, 2025 isn't back here. Oh, oh, it's a bit bumpy here. Okay, so uh, if it's not back here, where would it be? There's that one. There's this one. This one's 3010. That's not mine. Okay, well, he said that if 2025 isn't available, that I should use 3098, 30, oh shoot, I can't remember now. But that one has a sleeper on it. I'll find it. I'll find it. It's probably in the lineup. Ah, yes, there it is. There it is. I'm going to park right beside it, too. How about that? Here is the substitute mistress. Almost exactly the same on the outside. <sighs> Let's go wake her up. Look at this guy. This is, I guess, one of our highway drivers, and he parks his car here, and he has a nice car cover for it. That's smart. No? Nah, you're too pretty to cover up. Ah, I gotta show you off. Okay, so this thing isn't plugged in, and it's a little bit chilly outside, so um, let's hope she wakes up. There she is, the substitute mistress. She actually has a little less rust around her. We'll see. Good morning, my new friend. Oh, and the steering wheel is nicer in here too. Okay, well, let's uh, see if she starts up. Let me get in here. How are you this morning? I'm doing fine, thank you. There we go. There we go, look at all the, wow. It's actually kind of a nice truck. Maybe I made a mistake going into the other truck. <laughs> okay, heat. It is cold. How do I turn the lights on in this thing? Lights. There we go. Oh, old school. This is the one that kind of gauges with the actual bolts behind there. Very nice. Okay, well, today should be fun. A little bit of a more retro look in front of us today. We're on flatbeds first thing this morning. We're looking for trailer 331. That's 333. I don't see any more flatbeds here. This truck's a lot quieter than mine. I can barely even hear the engine. What do we got here? Trailer 509. Four ten, five twenty-four. Uh -huh, must be on the other side. We'll take a look over there. Huh. I'm not seeing it anywhere. The only other place I can think of is out here in the back. We got some trailers back there. We'll check that out, I guess. This is the newest addition to the yard here. This is where I usually park, you guys know. 331, I see 502 right there. It's gonna be a flatbed, I'm pretty sure. There's a bunch. 528, 4 something. 331, there it is. Right in the corner. Of course, this guy's gonna be right in my way. Oh boy, this should be interesting. Maybe I can still get it out of there. This guy's getting a tire repaired, it looks like. It's our tire shop. All right. We are, uh, I'll back her in. This one doesn't have the, <laughs> the see-through back window, so old school or whatever you want to call it. Mirrors only. Real trucking, how about we call that? No back windows. There's tarps on that trailer. Somebody left their tarps on there. Yep. 
I got it. Didn't even have to pull forward. Wow. <laughs> I mean, of course. Of course, Trucker Josh nailed it first time, every time, right? <laughs> okay, let's uh, we'll hook up. I don't know what we're gonna do with those tarps. Three thirty-one. I guess I should double check, you know, before I do anything. Oh, we'll get the hoses hooked up here anyway. doing today. I don't even know what I'm picking up. I don't know if I need those tarps or not. I just sent him a message asking. I guess for now I'll leave them up there. Inflated tires. Okay, let's check the suspension. It's filling. Okay, just gotta give it a minute. Lights all working. Mud flaps in place. Tires inflated. Looks like we're doing good. Uh, this is one of those older trailers where you can't slide these uh, ratchets. That'll be fun. Okay. Let's see if I can pull it out of here. <sighs> see if I can get it out of here with that truck right there. I think I'll probably have to wait for him to be done. Okay, this should be uh, fun and interesting. <laughs> huh. We'll see what we can do. First, make sure the trailer's attached. Tug test, okay. Last thing we need right now. I'm gonna try to move it over so that I can get it out. If I move it further away from that trailer on that side, it'll give me more space to swing around. But I got these tires right here too. All right, well, if anything, we'll just look a little silly wiggling around here for a bit. sharp at all. Hey, I gotta get further away from that trailer. I gotta angle the trailer more that way. This truck is terrible <laughs> for steering. It doesn't move. Okay. trailer here. 
<laughs> That's Roger there helping me out. We're gonna make it. Woo. No problem. <laughs> He's a fun guy. All right, didn't need the tarps. We're gonna go pick up 10 feet of farm equipment. Out near Morris, Manitoba. Uh, stop by Flying J on the way. And possibly grab a bean to cup. I don't know. I'll leave the option open. This truck cannot turn. That is a full turn. Wow, all the way. Yeah, I definitely like my truck better. <laughs> definitely. <laughs> Careful, bud, don't drive into my trailer. I gotta pull that with me. All right. This truck isn't as loud as, as mine. Turbo sounds great though, eh? How about the engine brake? What's the engine brake sound like? It's all right, it's all right. Definitely not the worst. Definitely not the worst. Okay, let's get on 59 South here. Let's give her, see what this thing's got. It smells great in here too. Just had a fresh detail recently when I was supposed to get into it, but then it wouldn't start. It was too cold. Oh yeah, that turbo sounds nice. This is also an 18 speed truck. Mine's a 13. Ah, yes. I could listen to that turbo all day. That's pretty nice. All right, this is it here. me back here. Ah, we're gonna load over there. I see, I see, I see. Let's not drag our trailer over anything. Don't drive our truck over anything. I think he's gonna want me right in the middle here. This stuff I'm picking up is going to Harrisonburg, Arkansas, or Arkansas. Load me up back there right now. All right, so here we go. Got a little bit of everything. <laughs> I've already started tying it down. It won't take too long. Got our corner guards on there, making sure that we don't cut our strap through on that edge. We don't want to go too tight, but we want to go just tight enough, you know? One more, just one more click there. There we go. And I'll go over that there and hold that down. And that's sort of wrapped around the back there, holding it from sliding back. Mostly what it's doing is holding this, the back end, onto there. But that's it though. About 10 feet, give or take. <laughs> ah, it's a good day. Flatbed really gives you the chance to get moving, get the heart pumping. Onwards and upwards. All the way to Arkansas. That's where that stuff is headed. I told you that already, right? All the way to Arkansas. I'm gonna take it back to our yard and they're gonna throw it together with some other freight going to the region out there. Put that there for now. Okay. 
like I said yesterday also, uh, I don't know how fast this freight is expected to get down there. I don't know if it's got a time frame or if we're waiting for other freight to combine with it, or maybe it's just part of one order. I don't know these things. All I do is drive a truck. You tell me to go pick something up, I'll pick it up. I don't know the details. Look at this, all the snow is gone. trailer over you. We're gonna go for it. I'm gonna go for it. We're gonna go for it. Oh yeah, no problem. Lots of time. Lots of time. Scaring myself for no reason. They have horses here now. I didn't think they had horses there. That's pretty cool. Maybe it's new. One last time, just so they know I'm back. right up beside that Rosano truck. Quickly go inside and figure out what they want me to do with this stuff. Excuse me, Mr. Minivan. I know you gotta get the kids to hockey practice, but I'm just sneaking in here. Actually, you know what? They don't like it when we park here. I'm gonna go park inside the gate. So when we park there, we block the shop from getting trailers in. They'd really prefer it if we don't park there. I'll go park just up here and we'll figure out and walk back. Walking is good for us, right? Yeah. Handy dandy fancy gate card. Still waiting for my key fob. It's coming though, apparently. It's coming. Hey, there's Bill. Yard manager. That's a great guy. Always in a good mood. Always in a good mood. Really nice working with him. I love working with people that are always in a good mood, you know? People that are always grumpy, it's difficult to get things done sometimes, but no. He is a definitely a good worker. Probably why he's the yard manager. He's been here a long time too. So I can't remember, did I explain to you guys already? 
It's gonna be a lot of head cam footage now because I don't have all my mounts in this truck and I'm not gonna set them up in this truck because I'm not gonna be in here permanently. So, uh, hope you guys like that view. It's actually my favorite view. It's just, I like to switch it up, but while we're in this truck, we'll just stick with that for the most part. It's just the easiest, leaves my hands free and, uh, you know, gives you the best view. So they just had me drop it in the loaded lineup for now. Guess they'll have the the shunt truck come and grab it later and pull it out and they can unload it later and figure out what they want to do with it then. So I got a few more things to do yet here today. I'll talk to you in a bit. Okay, it's the end of the day, but we're gonna quickly get this loaded up and bring it back to our yard yet. Bunch of tanks, I'm not even sure where they're going yet. I'm gonna have one, two, three, four, five on the top yet, I think. Super light, I mean, look at this stuff. It's like plastic, I could probably, yeah, see this? Super light and really easy to tie down as well, so I'm gonna get to it. Oh, good old flatbeds. Immediately dirty. I'm gonna go home looking like I had a full day's work or something. Can't have that too often. Okay, so we've got five of these tanks on here. Pretty close to uh, our maximum height, but according to my calculations and my measurements, we're okay. That's why they sent us here on a step deck and not a flat. It would have never worked on a flat. I'm not done yet. It needs more straps, but that guy up there is what we were concerned about. And to my measurements, we're still fine. Pretty close to maximum height, but still legal. So I'm gonna finish tying this down. We're gonna pull this back to the yard. I've already filmed quite a bit today. We'll take our straps back and, uh, or maybe we might leave them on there because I probably won't be in this truck again tomorrow. I'll decide that when I get there. Anyways, I gotta finish working here. Oh, that's nice. Oh, it fell right in the puddle. Welcome back to flatbeds. This load is going to Oxford House, Manitoba, which is way up north. I believe that you can only get there on the winter roads and the ice roads. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe they have paved roads going in there. That's pretty far north. It's pretty cool. Okay, so we're going to bring it back to the yard, drop it, and we're going to go home. Okay, let's see if we can get out of this... Uh, lot first. <laughs> Put our flashers on so nobody uh, jumps in our way, right? That's how those work. Don't want to hit anything. It's the whole plan. The whole plan is to not hit anything. See, there's a dock behind us there. I kind of want to get my rear end into there. This truck doesn't turn at all. Okay, and we don't think we got her aimed properly that way. Yep, good. My calculations were correct. So we sort of want to back it towards that dock like we're going to back right down there. And we're going to cut it hard this way now. All right. 
Now we can get out. It's amazing how much difference it makes if you can turn just a little bit sharper. Sun is setting behind us. Another day is done. A lot of flat bedding today. We did one trailer drop on a van trailer, but a lot of flat bedding. Making sure I uh, keep my skills honed, you know? <laughs> flat bedding is nice for getting you active. It makes forces you to walk around the truck a lot more, right? I think I'm uh, going to be on vans more often, but you know, wherever they need me, that's where I go.